crossing the Thompson River, heading into Longreach. We're getting the car service tomorrow. We've done 10,000 k's since Kalgoorlie and it's time to get the brakes looked at before we can't stop one day. So, welcome to Longreach. There's a big Qantas thing in um, Longreach, this is where we are. Yeah. But we're not heading there, we're heading right down to the Stockman's Hall of Fame. Qantas. Founders Outback Museum, 350 metres on left. Yeah, it actually it. looks pretty big, doesn't it? Australian Stockman's Hall of Fame. This is it coming in here. Oh, that's a cute little building house yes, over there. Yeah, this um, blocks, bricks, stone. St blocks, brick, stone, yes. Stone. stone. Somebody's one. home, maybe. Like Caretaker's home or something. Or maybe it's a, um, you know, a restaurant or something like that. Function centre. The Australian Stockman's Hall of Fame and Outback Heritage Centre. Australian Stockman's Hall of Fame. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Australian Stockman's Hall of Fame. Today we present to you the Outback Stockman Show. Please put your hands together for Lockie Cossa. My name is Lockie Costa, I'm a third generation stockman. I'd like to welcome you all here to the Australian Stockman's Hall of Fame and Outback Heritage Centre. Now one of the first jobs, if you're going out mushing on your horse or even just going for a ride on your horse, one of your first jobs is to clean your horse's feet out. You don't need rocks in your horse's feet, that'll cause lameness. Next thing you know, you'll be walking home, you know, leading your horse along behind you. So, I've got my hoof pick here. I'll quickly get the rocks out of his feet. And that'll be uh, one job out of the road. Quick mate, Oh. Oh no, I've done me back. <laughs> oh mate, this is no good. Listen, I've done me back. We're gonna have to work together on this. Yeah, if we work together, I'm sure we'll get these feet cleaned out. So uh, just see if you good there. You know, wriggle around. Listen, we haven't got a lot of time for this. You know, what I'm gonna do is just uh, pop you up here. Whoop, there we go. All right. Yeah, that'll be a lot easier on my back. Um, which foot first, mate? Oh, okay. The rocks out of there. There we go. Good boy. Other foot. All right, here we go. That's looking a lot better there now. Oh, he's a bit grubby, but isn't he? Listen, just give me a sec. I'll just quickly grab a brush and I'll give him a quick tidy up with a brush. Here we go. <laughs> and of course, they love a bit of a brush too, you know, on the tummy and under the arms. That's all good. Okay. Ooh, oh, not again. Oh, this back's playing up. Hang on, I'll try something here. Might be a bit easier on the back. I'll give this a go. <laughs> behind the ears, get right behind. Uh oh. Now I've broke the wife's good broom. God, that's no good at all. Look at that. How's she going to get home now? <laughs> <laughs> hang on, mate. Hang on. We'll get you tidy up. Wait a second. Here we go. I'll give this a go. This <laughs> there we go. All right. Now we're doing. 
the other side, a quick go. There we go, good boy. Let's check under here. Head rough under there, I'll just give another bit of a tidy up. There we go, look at that. Clean as a whistle, we're ready to go. <laughs> All right, so I've got my saddle cloth, which protects the horse from the saddle and protects the um, saddle there from the horse a bit as well. Okay, that goes on first. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, well, you can see what's going on here. I think Gertie might be trying to tell me that he, uh, he doesn't want the answer. Uh, you know, he's making a very good deal. <laughs> All right, well, as I said earlier, I like to work with the horses. So if Ernie doesn't want the saddle on, so be it, we won't worry about the saddle. But I can't just let my horse get away with that, because that would be spoiling my horse. So I'll still ride Ernie around, but I'll just ride him bareback. Mm. Here we go, just says good mate. Good boy, Ernie. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, no, Ernie! <laughs> oh, this is no good. <laughs> Listen, I'm really sorry about this. He's throwing a bit of a spatter in the works here. Uh, I'm going to have to change things around here momentarily. Maybe I should work on some trust issues with this horse might be a good idea. And living your dream might be just tripping around the country, seeing a few shows, meeting people, having a bit of a around this great place. So I write a bit of music and I scribbled out a song shortly after the interview, simply called Living the Dream. Here we go. out a bit while I've got him up the front here. Gonna make a bit of noise up here on Mr. Gibson. There we go. There we go, that's Gibson our stock horse for the day. <laughs> so in theory it's all gonna work if it was to put a bit of pressure on uh, Romeo here we should be able to get a yield out of him and get him to have a rest. That's Romeo, a little board horse. The Brahmin cattle, what you see right up through the north here as you're travelling around, Brahmin cattle actually make up 50% of Australia's whole breed. So more Brahmins in Australia than anything else. Now they brought the Brahmins over from America back in, out, out, back in 1963. They've been here quite a while now. I think the main reason they brought them over, they're great resistant to hot weather. The Brahmin cattle do very well in the hotter climate. So, you know, northern Australia really, really suits the Brahmin cattle. And some of the features of the Brahmins that I suppose, um, you might say allow that to happen. If you have a look at Barney, one of them is the sunken eyes, hiding from the UV rays. The Brahmin cattle don't have any trouble with their eyes from the sun. Um, I'm going to finish with a song here. I've got three daughters. Uh, the youngest one not long turned 18, but it wasn't long ago. I had three teenage daughters. <laughs> and a wow, what time they little darling. I there. <laughs> anyway, I wrote a song about the girls a few years ago. Very self explanatory this song. I'm sure you'll all get the gist as it goes along. It's simply called No Cowboys. <laughs> Dig out, out, out. The Stockman's Hall of Fame is such a fascinating place. It really does show 
the strengths of some people to live in these harsh environments out there. Us city folks just do not understand that, but it's well worth going and checking it out for yourself. Lockie Cossa, who does the show, is absolutely wonderful. And if you're lucky enough to catch him at the RSL, we were. We had a beautiful meal there and um, listened to him sing all night. It was great. Thank you for a wonderful time. So here we are at the Qantas Founders Museum. Our story since 1920. Let's go see what their story is. Come on in. Cute model. She's pretty old. The Catalina. Information on it. A world record holder, the Catalina flying boat. There you go. Cruising speed 188 kilometers per hour. Not very big holes to get in and out of. Look at all those things, they had to know what they all were. Please be aware of snakes. First thing I see, this is the original Qantas hangout constructed in 1921. to go and look at these unless you pay more money. Yeah, we could have paid more money. Yeah, we could have, but there's no availability for tours today. So, a bit of a rip off. There you go. It's sort of awesome to be up close with them, but just the same. Not paying $100 to go step on one. of knowledge that's so cool this way we have Glencurry and Winton Kewenden Arama Clermont Brisbane 
right now. Can the Go, Minda. This is good. Mindora. And the tree in the middle. Gotta love some roadworks. At least they're keeping you safe. Fixing the roads up so that you can drive from. We're heading to Blackhall and what they have on the side of the road is really cool. They have a question about the area. I'm not going to tell you what the question is or the answer, but there is three different signs as you're coming into Blackhall with a question, a hint and an answer. And it just makes you think. It's, it's a bit of trivia and it's a really good idea. cool is this? Blackhall, Queensland. Look at this. I don't know if you can get the whole lot in. This is gorgeous. A statue of a circus elephant. Life size. Sitting in the park. Very cool. Another gorgeous morning here in Queensland. Today he's going for a ride. So it's only on the main road, but that's okay. This was another beautiful free camp. You've got to love them. On the banks of a dry riverbed. So let him go for his ride. The story of this bridge is really, really interesting. It's amazing. Anyway, we've had a great trip again and really enjoying ourselves. We are heading down to Kunnamulla and then across to Charlotte Plains. So hope to see you again next time. Take care.